and uh, welcome to Unity 3D C Sharp. This is lesson 18, and this is on arrays. Uh, and you might be wondering, why are we doing arrays? I thought we were going to be working on monster generation. <clears throat> well, we are. If you recall, what you see here on the screen now, this is where we left off on the last uh, on the last uh, lesson on lesson 17. We had our monster class, and this is how we in in, in, instantiated, instantiated uh, our monsters. In other words, how we created our monster objects. We did it with new a, uh, a monster and so on, and this created uh, an object identified, and that was the identifier. And then we had to put it into different values. What I want to introduce in this uh, uh, lesson is I want to do, introduce the concept of arrays. And I come over here. And here, I'm using exactly the same class. Nothing's changed here. Here's what's changed. I've made an array. You might say, wait a minute. This is getting more complex. Just bear with me for a second. What's an array? An array is nothing more than an arrangement. It's just an arrangement of, of, of different things. And, and what I have when I want to declare using an array, this is the, this is the, the syntax for doing that is right here, create an array. I'm telling C Sharp that I want you to use my class, a monster, and I use these brackets here. And when I use this bracket, C Sharp says, oh, this guy wants to make an array out of uh, a monster now. Yes, OK, what's your array identifier going to be? It's going to be big monster. It could be any legitimate identifier. I just made it different from the last one. I call it a uh, I call it big monster. Okay, so let's instant uh, let's make it an array. So it's going to be a new a monster, and it's going to have 50 elements in the array, which essentially means I can make 50 different monster objects. I could have made this 500 if I wanted to, or I could have made it 5,000. Okay, I just use up more and more computer resources the larger I make this number. So what I do here is that now I use big monster sub one is going to be equal to a new monster. So what I've done here is I've created a, an object called big monster sub one. We normally say sub one. I've created another object, big monster sub two. I've created a third object, uh, big monster sub three. So the way I distinguish between the objects now, the way I distinguish between the objects is by their array value, not by uh, the identifier. And that's a new concept, because that's going to allow me some very powerful stuff that I can do, as you'll see in the next video. So since I identified the, 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 uh, the differences between these monsters by their array number, here is big monster sub one dot name is Gorky. Big monster sub one race is Orc. All this applies to the same exact uh, object. And here I have for big monster sub two, big monster sub two. Its name, its race, its age, and so on, uh, and so on and so forth. And then when I want to use a method, I want the method for big monster sub one to display the data for big monster sub one. I want to display the data for Big Monster Sub 2 and Big Monster Sub 3. And if you look at this and compare it to what we did last time, uh, we're still doing the same amount of work, maybe even a little bit more, because now we had to figure, well, he wants me to make an array out of this. But the extra work that we're doing here, as you'll see in the next video, is going to save us tons of time for generating all kinds of ranks of monsters and stuff. By the way, let's see if this works. So we're on, uh, this is my monster uh, 5 uh, for C sharp. And I come here to my main camera, and that's what I have down here. And let's give it a whirl, uh, fingers crossed. And zoopy doop, there it is. It works just like the one in our previous lesson worked. But the difference was here is that I'm using array values. And, and uh, one of the things I should mention about this is that this, I told C Sharp I want 50 elements here. Now, the first element of a C Sharp um, array 
is element zero. It's not element one. It's not sub one. It's actually sub zero. I don't use that here because it's a little bit confusing. But what that means is that since it starts with a zero element, that means the last element in the array is going to be 49, not 50. There'll be 50 elements, but they'll start at zero and go to 49, which makes 50 elements. So if I try to have a monster, if I try to insta instantiate a monster sub 50, I'll get an error because there isn't a monster sub 50. If I want a monster sub 50, I have to change this right up here to a 51 like that. And now I can have a monster sub 50. Okay. Well, hopefully that, that makes some sense. Okay, so you may want to try this and, and see that we're get used to this. This is your new line of code up here. This is the, the new syntax introduced uh, along with the concept of arrays. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.